Derek with the Lemonex, Middlesex County. Run across this uh, B problem. They're going inside the hollow bumper. And uh, you get the situations. I get about 10 calls a day with hornets and yellow jackets, and, uh, bees' nests and wasps' nests and hives. I'm taking nests out of the tree 20 feet, 30 feet high up in there. Um, in this situation, it's an unforeseen, you know, on a nice day, you can really see them active, but sometimes, like, during the day when it's hot out, they're not as active, so you can end up coming across a major hidden nest, and then they'll come out and swarm you. Uh, this gentleman was changing his t t tire on his RV uh, camper, and then he, s he got swarmed with them right next to the where he was jacking it up, or uh, uh, taking it down, one or the other. The leveler jack. He got stung many times. So what I'm going to do, I use my bee duster. All other companies will spray, or if you use some garbage spray from the Home Depot, it's not going to do anything. It's going to give you that false security that you did something. And in the meantime, uh, you know, sometimes there's the bees. They relocated, or they'll just stay dormant for a couple hours. Don't come back out with full force. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this for you. I don't have any any helper to take this video but I'm going to show real quick how I do it and uh, hopefully I can get this balanced properly oh no there we go so I'm going to hit this with the dust real quick and see how Up. I'm going to shoot the special dry chemical in there. That'll wipe them out. Do it real quick. It's kind of hard to do it. Ah, <laughs> that was pretty weird. So it's going to be kind of quick, hard to. Um, Hold the same sideways. Usually, this bee duster is designed to point up in the upwards position. There we go. I don't know how that thing fell. So, so I'm gonna uh, shoot it with air, my anchor press bee duster, and hopefully, I have a good safe distance. Uh, there we go. Right in the hole. Maybe need to up the pressure a little bit. So, up the pressure a little bit, you know. Sometimes it's not enough pressure. I do smell the power, the special dust powder blend I'm using. And hopefully you can get it in there before they investigate. There you go, see that? That's professional. That's not professional, though. It's professional strength. And I uh, do it from a safe distance. I make it look easy because I have all the gear, planning, and tools to do a proper job, quick, efficient, and guaranteed. And, uh,. He'll be bee free within a couple hours. So that's done. Whatever the nest is in there, it's gonna die. Then you got the foraging bees. There is probably 300 bees in there. And then probably another 50, 100 bees coming back. So that's what you see right now. Aren't the bees that were in there. Those are the bees that were coming back. They have no idea what happened. Because <laughs> I'm not throwing rocks at them. I'm, you throw rocks at them, you don't kill them. You just disturb them. And, but right now, I, I got it. Strategic dry chemical. 
that's going to kill them immediately if they come in contact with it. And of course, if they get like a speck of it on them, they're going to fly off and then they'll die. Just a speck. I'm going to go away from this and start, I'm going to spray the press perimeter with a special residual product that will last a couple months. This spot treat, got rid of the hive, can't remove it because it's inside the steel bumper. I don't know why there's a hole there. But that's it. Uh, Derek with the Lemon X. Another happy customer here in Middlesex County. Have a good day.